Hey everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Paleo Living. Today, I've got the next part in the Paleo for Beginners series, and it's a part that a lot of you are not going to like, and that's about processed sugar. So let's talk about why processed sugar is not paleo. First of all, what is processed sugar? Well, here's what it's not. It's not something like fruit or something like a sweet potato that has sugar in it without processing it. It is things like table sugar, corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, any type of processed honey, any type of processed molasses, coconut sugar, or anything else that doesn't look exactly like it would have looked when you found it in nature. So there are three big reasons why processed sugar is not paleo and not good for you at all. Reason number one, processed sugar does not have the minerals that are necessary for your body to digest and use that sugar. So for instance, when you get sugar out of fruits, most of the time those sugars, those fruits, sorry, come with the vitamins and minerals that are necessary for your body to use that sugar. For instance, chromium, magnesium, manganese, a lot of vitamins and minerals that your body needs to have in order for the enzymes in your body to actually digest the sugar and use it. When you process sugar like table sugar, processed honey, you know, uh, dextrose, maltose, any of those types of sugar, you don't have those minerals any longer so your body can't use that sugar and what happens is not only can you not use it properly, but your body starts leaching those minerals out of other parts of your body to use them to digest the sugar that you've just eaten, which is a really bad thing because then you'll become vitamin and mineral deficient in a lot of other ways. Reason number two, processed sugar makes you eat a lot more. This is not true of things like fruits that have sugar in them. When people eat fruits or other natural foods that have sugar in them, people make up by not eating as much later. But when you eat something with processed sugar in it, say a soda or a cake or a cookie, you don't make up. You actually eat just as much later, which puts you in what's called a hypercaloric state. That means you're taking in more calories than your body's using. And at that point, the sugar becomes toxic for you. Reason number three, processed sugar disrupts the bacteria in your stomach and intestines. Now, you probably know from when I've talked about this before, but you've got a lot of bacteria in your stomach and intestines and they're really, really important. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, most of them are kind of in between. But when you eat processed sugar, it causes overgrowths of the bad bacteria and starts to kill off a lot of the good bacteria. That's a big, big problem down the road. It makes you eat more, it disrupts your hormones, it allow, disallows you from digesting, it allows you not to digest foods as well, and it starts to allow a lot of other things through your gut. All right, so that's it for today. As you can see, I'm not a fan at all of processed sugars, and you shouldn't be either. There's nothing healthy about them, and nobody disagrees about this. Some people think they're worse than others, but nobody thinks they're good for you because they don't provide you with any nutrition, no vitamins, no minerals. So as always, I wanna hear from you. What do you think in the comments below? Just how bad do you think processed sugar is? Do you think all sugar is bad for you? If you like this video, click the like button just below the video. And right here, there's a click to subscribe button. If you click it, we'll let you know when we come out with the next video in this series and all the rest of the videos that we come out with every Monday and Wednesday.